Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Cam, and welcome to my most anticipated movies for March of 2020. But before we go on to that, I'd like to just take a second and reflect back on the month of February and what it all was. And thank God that it's over because February was horrible. And the horror movies somehow got even worse and Twitter went to war over a comic book superheroine and her team of best friends and a blue hedgehog. I mean, in the words of John Campia, Kill me now! <laughs> call me an optimist, but March 2020 is actually looking pretty excellent. And so, without any further ado, let's forget about February entirely, and it's time to talk about my most anticipated movies for March of 2020. First up is Emma. Now, I when I saw the trailer for this, I was like, all right, that looks fascinating, and it stars a bunch of people that I really like. So if it comes anywhere near my area, I'm going to see it. Thankfully, it is coming to my theater this weekend, so I will see it. Especially excited for this movie because it's based off of a Jane Austen book, and last year, I read Pride and Prejudice, and I surprisingly really liked it. Here's to hoping Emma is a good adaptation of a Jane Austen book. Next up is Onward. I'm already a massive Pixar fan, but from all the reactions I've been getting from Onward, it's gotten me even more excited. Pixar movies are kind of like pizza. Even the bad ones are still not as bad as people make them out to be. And here's to hoping this movie lives up to the Pixar greats. Next up is The Way Back. This contains stuff that I just genuinely love. Gavin O'Connor, Ben Affleck in a lot of things, and basketball. Like, in any combination of the three, I'm automatically in. The Way Back has all three. This is one of those trailers that I have seen a lot of this year. I think every other movie I've seen this year, The Way Back has been in there. However... I'm not mad to see it because it's a really good trailer, and I really hope that this is as good as the trailers made it look to be. Next up is Bloodshot. Uh, Vin Diesel, to me, is kind of like my version of comfort food. I get it. It's empty calories. He's not going to do anything worthy of an Oscar or whatever. But I just love the man to death. And it doesn't matter if the movie he's in is good or bad. The movie is automatically a plus with him being in it. Because he just has this strange engagement with every single character he plays. Despite the fact that he has the combined range of a raisin. This movie looked fascinating from the very first trailer. Uh, with Vin Diesel in there and Guy Pearce as well. This movie just looks interesting. And I hope that it lives up to what I think it's going to be. Next up is by far and away the most fascinating movie on uh, that's coming up in the foreseeable future, The Hunt. Now, if you've been following this movie for any length of time, you will know that The Hunt is being branded as the most controversial movie that no one has seen. It was supposed to come out last year, but due to, let's just say, real life getting in the way, the movie was pulled from the release schedule, and it was set to become one of those infamous movies that were never to be released, or wouldn't be released until Scream Factory got the rights to it. But I guess Jason Blum has more stroke than we can imagine, because the movie's getting released. This month, no less. I have a feeling that this movie is not going to live up to the hype that it's being built up as the most controversial movie of all time. There have been way more controversial movies last year. Do I think The Hunt will be good? I certainly hope so. From all the trailers I've seen, it looks decent. So, you know, here's to hoping. Next up is the sequel to one of the best horror movies of the past few years, A Quiet Place Part 2. The first A Quiet Place was a movie that I fell in love with instantaneously and I've seen it several times after the fact, and I have loved it more and more the more that I have... the more that I've gone back to it. The movie is just fantastic. I walked out of there saying to myself, huh, 
Who would have known the next Alfred Hitchcock would have been the guy that stuck Dwight's stapler in Jello? I kid, of course, but John Krasinski came out of nowhere with his horror directing abilities, and The Quiet Place Part 2 seems even, it looks to be even more tantalizing than the first one. A Quiet Place built up a lot of positive momentum for John Krasinski, so here's to hoping that the momentum keeps going. And wrapping up the month is Mulan. Now, I have not seen the original Mulan. Spoiler alert, I will be reviewing that sometime this month. But as someone who is not a fan of the Disney live-action remakes, I after I saw this trailer, I was like, Okay, that actually looks promising. Here's to hoping that this is the best Disney live-action remake we've ever gotten, especially considering what they did last year. Oh god, I still have PTSD. Anyway, that's what I'm looking forward to in March. Uh, what are you all looking forward to this month? Leave it in the comments section below. I do read the comments, so go right ahead. Also, if you like the video, please be sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to allow notifications. That way, when a new video like this drops, you will be the first to know. My name is Ryan Cam, I'll see you in the next one.